Hello, and welcome to my Feral PvP quote-unquote rotation guide for Mist of Pandaria. If you are interested in PvP, you still might be interested in the last part of this video. So this is how your rotation should look like. So, if your rotation doesn't look like this, then you are in the right place. Let's see for all main abilities. Pause at any time if you need extra time to read. Mangle. This will be your main damaging ability when you can't get behind your target. If you can, then you want to use Shred. They are roughly the same energy cost and damage, but you will get an extra 20% to bleeding targets. To bleed them for bonus damage, you have Rake. You want to keep this up on your target at all times. This one will also generate a combo point. Ravage. This you want to use as frequently as possible, but it will require stealth and it will also require you to be behind your target. For that, we get a free Ravage every 30 seconds with our PvP tier. And the last combo point generator is Pounce. You need to be in Prowl, commonly known as stealth or invisible, to be able to use it, but you will always want to start with these. Finally, if you get a critical strike with any of these abilities, you will generate two combo points thanks to this passive. Now here is where to spend your combo points. Savagery. You want to keep this buff on you at all times. Every combo point will make it last longer. Rip. This is the ability you want to always use five combo points on for maximum damage. Ferocious Bite, also known simply as Bite. This isn't good in PvP right now. But for PvE, it's great on low health targets. Instead of Bite, you want to use Maim in PvP. This one you want to use after Rip and Savage Roar is active, ideally, and it's also usable for crowd control. The PvP tier gloves will give you an extra 100% damage, which makes it comparable to Ferocious Bite, damage wise. Up till now, this is what your rotation should look like. Pounce, Savage or Rake, Shred to 5 combo points, Rip, Shred again to 5 combo points, and then decide what to do. Here are some cooldowns you might want to put in there. Berserk is your high damage offensive 3 minute cooldown ability. You want to stack this with any other big cooldowns or trinkets and keep doing your rotation. Tiger's Fury is a 30 second energy replenish. This will buff up your damage, make sure to use it before Berserk and stack it with trinkets, especially if you have engineering as a profession, so you want to alternate between trinkets and synapse springs. Now for talents. Soul of the Forest is the first talent that can alter your DPS. It's good for extra energy generation and some PvE situations. I've heard it's good in 3s with a mage. It's on the same tier as Incarnation. This will let you spam Ravage and Pounce with no stealth or precision or requirement. It has the same cooldown as Bursar, so you might want to macro them together. The last talent in this tier would be Force of Nature. This really doesn't bring much DPS to the table, but it will bring extra crowd control when needed. Very useful against melee classes. In the last group tier, you will find very interesting options like Heart of the Wild. This talent will give 6% passive agility, which is a lot more damage over time, and some other fun stuff like free heals, and it's also a defensive cooldown. Dream of Scenarius, this talent will passively boost healing touch and will give you extra damage on the next two melee abilities after healing. It's really good for long fights. The last talent is Nature's Vigil. This is extra damage, extra heals while damaging. You will want to macro this with Bursar, but also make sure to use it again because it only has half the cooldown. This is what your rotation should look like with major cooldowns. Prowl to Pounce, Savage Roar, Fairy Fire, Rake, Tiger's Fury Macro, Free Ravage, Berserk, Ravage to 5 combo points if you have Incarnation, Rip, Heal so you can get Dream of Scenarios proc, keep ravaging or shredding and decide what to do next based on the situation. I will slow this down now. I'll have Nature's Vigil and Incarnation as talents. Stealth, Pounce, Savage Roar for buff, Rake to bleed, Tiger's Fury macro with Trinket, Ravage right after for max damage, 
burst certain macro to take advantage of the tiger's fury buff and since you have incarnation you can spam ravage till five combo points rip and i healed for no real reason now let's talk glyphs this one will remove the positional requirement for shred but there are other good choices here so i don't use that then you have glyph of savagery this one will allow you to use Savage Roar without combo points. This is great to start fights. Other things you might want to know for maximum DPS is Fairy Fire. This will reduce your opponent's armor by 12% when it's fully stacked. And we have a passive that will stack it fully on one application. And it will also avoid invisible users from turning invisible. Omen of Clarity will give you a free ability once it procs, so you want to use it with your high cost abilities like Shred and Ravage. This is what your rotation should look like when you got it down with everything I've explained in this video. This was Feral PvP Rotation, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, hope it helped. Give it a like if you liked it or if it helped, and let me know in the comments what you would like to see next.